Welcome, welcome to um, the questions and answers. So I thought I would um, come on to discuss anything the natural healing related, okay? I'm going to wait for a few minutes for people to jump in. Then I'm going to do my best to help you as best as I can. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, okay? This is an opportunity to ask questions with regard to natural healing. If it doesn't matter what you are going through right now, there is a natural healing uh, route you can follow. When I say natural healing, I mean we're using fruits, herbs, dry fasting, water fasting, and um, to help the human body self-heal. Because the human body is, uh, I like to think of it like a machine that's um, designed to self-heal. And it will self-heal only if you allow it the opportunity or chance to, okay? And when we use the tools of the fruits and the herbs, we are, all we are doing is uh, putting the body in an environment where it can heal. For instance, there are many studies that have shown that oxygen, that, that, that a body that has is alkaline or is, has access to oxygen, it, it thrives. While a body that's acidic and cannot um, get the right oxygen will suffer and you have so-called diseases, okay? So the, the goal is, is get the body alkaline, get the body um, um, to, to a point where it can self-heal. Um, if you have any uh, any questions, feel free to ask. The first question came in. I'm trying to get rid of uh, my belly. Okay. So th there are two points to this question. Number one, if you're trying to lose weight, the fastest way of doing it, okay, is to get on a fruit oily cleanse for many reasons. More, most importantly, though, um, when you go on a fruit cleanse, the fruits are going to remove the mucus and acids that compromise the function of your organ, tissue, and glands. So when you can't lose weight properly, it's your thyroid and it's your adrenals. They are compromised. When you use the fruits only cleanse, you are cleansing those glands. Those glands go into high gear, they work better, and you lose weight. Add to the fact that the fruits is very low calorie, it's, that's a plus. Add to the fact that the fruits are high nutrition and high electric, uh, that's a plus as well. So the key is to change your diet to 100% fruit diet. It can be grapes, it can be melons, it can be uh, berries. And you want to use the, the extra herbs for the thyroid, extra herbs for the adrenals, but also extra herbs. We call it the fabulous five, okay? These are herbs for the kidneys, adrenals, lymph system, stomach, and bowels. And uh, it's right here. As you can see it here. It has over 38 different herbs in there, okay? And you're going to use kidney tea. Why? Because the kidneys are crucial when it comes to the health of the body. You want proper elimination, metabolic waste coming out of your kidneys. Otherwise, that waste accumulates, it stimulates excess mucus, and you have a problem, okay? So losing weight is one of the easiest things to do on a fruit cleanse. The fruits plus the herbs, and you thrive. If you want specific steps, please reach out to me on Instagram, um, uh, raw underscore Meraby, and I'll be more than happy to send it to you, okay? Like I said, any any questions, feel free, okay, guys? It's, it's, um, no question is silly, provided it's um, within the, the guidelines of what this topic is about, okay? So, um, yeah. So, any questions you have, you, you feel free and ask, and I'll do my best to, to resolve it, okay? So, maybe people ask, you know, why not use dry fasting instead of the fruits? Or You can use dry fasting, but I just don't recommend that you jump into uh, a dry fast or water fast if you're not clean, because these kind of uh, modalities are very aggressive, you tend to dislodge as acids and mucus, and if you cannot eliminate it, it recirculates, and that can extend your healing crisis, and you don't want that. That's why I, my personal opinion and experience, it's always a fruit cleanse with the herbs, is a fantastic, safest, and uh, easiest way to go, okay? Uh, far, far superior, in my opinion, because it's you're doing a nice, gentle, gradual cleanse. You're not um, doing something excessive. You don't want to do anything excessive. Um, how do you get off addictions to pills? Uh, to get uh, um, off pills, no matter what it is, the first step is to make a decision, right? I know it's easier said than done, but if there's no decision made, if you don't say to yourself, I got to change this, it never happened. No matter what you take, no matter what you use, it's always going to come back. So the first step is decide. Decide that you're going to change this, period. Step number two, you want to move your, change yourself and put yourself in a different mindset and environment. What do I mean by that? Meaning that if you want to change your state of mind, you cannot do the same things every day and expect that you're going to get better. For instance, let's say I'm making an example. Let's say you, you're the kind of person, you're, you're on your pills. You come home, you put TV on, you uh, play some video games or you drink some alcohol. All these are bad vices keeping you where you are. If you want to change your lifestyle, you have to make the step first, first decide. And second, change your environment. Go for walks. Do some yoga. Put the TV off. Okay? Cut down social media. Okay? That sort of thing. That's the second step you do. Third step, detox. Because the poisons and the, and the pills are in, are in you. They are stuck in your lymphatic system because you're not eliminating waste properly. 
And therefore, if you're not eliminating waste properly, you cannot get rid of those uh, byproducts that are causing you to be addicted. Okay, so the first step in terms of de detoxing the, the body is that you want to go on a 100% fruit diet. Okay, because it's the fastest way of going to move the lymph system. Remember, that the lymph system is what's holding all those uh, um, toxins. You want those toxins out, you gotta cleanse the body, 100% fruit diet, and then you want to use lymphatic herbs, you want to use kidney herbs, and you want to use adrenal herbs, and of course, the fabulous five and the kidney tea. Okay, you need those as the base. So, number one, you change your mind, you decide. Number two, you change your environment. Okay. Try your best to change your environment. Number three, do the detox. Once you remove all those accumulated toxins, you will not be as, as addicted. And you see that your mindset has changed, your body has changed, your life has changed. It's that simple. Yes, it takes a bit of work and you need support. And that's why I have Facebook groups. My Facebook groups are there to support you. And you can always reach out to me. I'm there to support you and help you as well. Okay, because I care. I want you to see you to succeed. Um, okay, some more questions. Uh, what helps um, Bell's, Bell's palsy? Okay, so that's um, neurological. You have a neurological issue because your lymphatic system is compromised. It affects the nervous system as well. And it, it's, a, it's a domino effect, okay? So if you want to get yourself better, you have to repair your neurological system. Which, what does that mean? Again, diet is number one. So you got to change your diet. For, for neurological issues, you always want to be on a high berry diet. Berry means blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry. Okay, grapes. Grapes are berries. Grapes are the most powerful ones you can use. Dark grapes, if, if you can get seeded, even better. So that's your step one. Okay, change your diet. Step number two, you're going to use herbs for the kidneys, adrenals, lymph system, stomach, and bowels. The fabulous five, we, I always call it. Okay, that's your base. That's the, the base, some foundation, and the kidney tea, because kidneys are the doorway to health. You cover those two. Now you're going to add extra herbs for your, your brain and nerves. We call it neurological one tincture herbs, like ginkgo leaf like hawthorn berry are in there, okay? Um, fun, uh, fantastic uh, uh, plants in there that fix the nervous system and the brain area as well. Then you want extra herbs for your adrenals. Adrenals um, produce neurotransmitters that control your autonomic nervous system. So they need to be in good working order. So you need extra herbs for your adrenals. And number three, you want to clean your bowels because your solar plexus houses a nerve center. And if that's not compromised, your nervous system will, will suffer, okay? So as I see clearly, 100% fruit diet, herbs for the entire body, the fabulous five, and herbs for the adrenals, for the um, uh, solar plexus, the bowels, clean the bowels, you need good bowel movement, use enemas, okay? And clean the head because you have nerves at the back here, cerebellum, okay? All this has to be good working order. That's how you regenerate nerves. That's how you strengthen the nervous system. And that's how you get better. Okay, I hope that uh, helped you. Is there anything I can... I can take naturally that will build my immunity up against the dreaded um, thing going around. Okay, I don't like to see the word for obvious reason because it's highly um, monitored. But um, if you're trying to, um, let's put it this way, you want your immune system to be very strong. Okay, and, and, and what's your immune system? Your immune system is your lymphatic system. No one tells you about this because they don't know, or I don't know, or they're not willing to tell you. Your lymphatic system. In, in each cell, you have blood to feed your cells and you have um, lymph fluid to remove waste from the cell. The lymphatic fluids in your body compromise about 75% of the fluids in your cells. And if that fluid gets stagnated, you have a compromised immune system. Now you have um, pathogens, you know, the virals, etc., sticking around because um, that's their job. Their job is to identify weak cells and target them. Okay? If your immune system is strong, you will not have this thing occurring as, as frequent. And after you're done that, strengthening your immune system, you want to strengthen your respiratory system. Very important you do so. And you do that with the herbs. You have herbs like mulin, colt's foot, elecampe, or inula. These open the lungs and keep, the, um, you, so you can breathe properly, okay? There's no congestion in the lungs. That's essential for this. For, for this. On a daily basis, you drink, the, you drink the respiratory tea. Drink it. And then, very important, first, before you drink it, you put a hot tea, you take a towel, cover your head, and you inhale the fumes from these plants, okay? You inhale it to clean everything up here. Also, um, the heat, it can, the heat uh, it will get rid of or prevent any kind of pathogens um, or at least minimize it here, the nas nasal passages, and then you drink the tea as well, okay? That's how you do it. That's step two. Step three, you got to fix your kidneys. Your kidneys are part of your immune system. If your kidneys are not functioning properly or filtering out the lymph system, the lymph system backs up and that's your immune system and then you're in trouble, okay? So you got you to gotta fix all those three. Okay, um, it's not difficult. You just need to know which herbs to use. You just need to know that you're going to have some fruit diet. So remember, the fruit diet moves your limb system. Okay, and once it moves your limb system, you're gonna you're gonna thrive. 
Um, um, I try to tell people about uh, herbs and healing. They think I'm arrogant. People just pe people just don't want to help. Okay, so here's my advice. Don't try and convince anybody for anything. Okay, I've done this for a very long period of time. I, I know people. there are people out there who, number one, don't know, who, number two, have been conditioned to believe what they believe, and who, number three, are not ready. And it's not your job to tell somebody how to behave. Your job is to um, share the information, and if they are willing to accept it, or, or at least listen to it, then you're fine. But if they're not willing to listen or accept it, that's fine. Everybody has their own journey. Everybody has their own path on their own ways. It's not for you or me to uh, make the assumption that we know better when um, it's you, we can only all we can do is share it with love, and if they can accept it, that's fine. If they don't accept it, then it's up to them. It's not there. Are, what seven plus billion people on this planet, and there are people begging for this information, or who gladly accept it. So don't waste your energy on somebody who doesn't want it or doesn't believe in it or who doesn't care. Okay, that's my advice to you. Um, I want to make sure I answer all the questions. So just let me go back and see. Uh, is there anything I can take naturally? Okay, I covered that. Uh, what fruits are best for detox? Best fruits for detox are the grapes, the berries, which include the grapes, the citrus fruits, which include the grapefruit, oranges, lime, lemons, and the melons like cantaloupe, uh, honeydew, watermelon. These are the best of the best. Why? Because they're very astringent. When I say astringent, I mean they move and break and liquefy mucus. Mucus, excess mucus is bad. Regular healthy mucus is good because it protects the organs, okay? But when the body becomes acidic, this excess mucus, if you don't remove the excess mucus, it holds acids and pathogens and it causes health problems. So those fruits are the best of the best you can use to move the lymph system. And, and of course, you always want to be using the herbs to support you, okay? The herbs are there to clean and strengthen the cells. And as I mentioned before, the basic herbs to use are the fabulous five right here, okay? Because it contains everything you need. For the, for the kidneys, adrenals, lymph system, stomach, and bowels, and you're covered. But with the diet, you're fine. Okay, try two weeks. You see, you see the power, and you'll be sold yourself. Um, thank you very much. It's my anxiety meds. So if you're on any kind of medication, obviously you gotta check with your doctor and stay with your doctor. I mean, because when they give you medication like this, only they can take you off. Only they can recommend something like that. But if if it were to, to me, I'm speaking on, on my thing. If I was on such medication. I would take steps to fix my adrenals because your adrenals, a weak adrenals cause panic attack, causes worry, causes um, easy, um, you stress stressed out easily, it will cause anxiety. So you wanna fix your adrenals, okay? And having said that, you can't fix your adrenals without fixing your kidneys. So you need to take herbs for the kidneys, adrenals, and lymphatic system, and just extra herbs for your adrenals. On my website, I have something called Adrenal Restorative Tincture. I also have something called Glans A. It has herbs for the adrenals, very strong, very powerful. You do that with the fruit diet, and give it time, and repair the gland. When the gland gets back in order, the, the anxiety will minimize. You can go and see your doctor and tell them, please help me get off them, okay, the meds. That's how I would do it, okay? Um, I'm a diabetic, so I worry about what fruit. So please tell me what kind of diabetic. But um, the information you have on um, blood sugar issues and fruits is misguided and incorrect because I can tell you I've helped many um, type 1s, which is the worst kind, okay, and their blood sugars actually drop, not go up with the all fruit diet. You, you cannot do a fruit and diet with the, with the bean if you have blood sugar issues. It would have to be an all fruit diet because when you have fruits plus uh, proteins and starches, your blood sugar will go up because the protein and starches require insulin. The fruit sugars, fructose, does not require insulin. It enters a cell by diffusion. Therefore, if you're on a fruit-only cleanse, your blood sugar will actually drop. And you have to pay attention to your medication because you might, you might be taking too much. So you, you have to consult your doctor. But the I'm trying to say that the information that you have on sugars, natural sugars, and, um, uh, and, and fruits and diabetes is incorrect, okay, or misguided. Because I'm, I'm speaking from experience here. Um, how do you, okay, sorry. Um, is there anything I can give my son for ADHD? Yes, is there anything I can give my son for ADHD? I would use uh, lymphatic herbs. Lymphatic herbs, adrenal herbs, kidney herbs, Endocrine herbs, okay. In other words, the fabulous five. Take a few. I don't know how old your child is, but let's assume that he's uh, four to five or six years old. I will take like a half dropper full of um, these uh, herbs I just mentioned, plus um, something called neurological one tincture. For the neurological tincture, I'll give them one dropper full and two to two, two three times a day because it's a super potent formula that's great for the brain. Okay, 
and you want to strengthen the brain and nervous system, and that's what these herbs will help you do. The diet of the, your child should change. You should be on a high, sh the child should be on a high fruit diet and should minimize protein and starches in their diet, okay? Because these are acid and mucus forming foods that will destroy the child's lymphatic system and nervous system. If the child's already compromised, you don't want to be eating those foods. You want the child to be on a high fruit diet. And if they can't go all fruits, it should be fruits breakfast, fruits lunch, and then have some cooked alkaline vegan. And that's the best way of, of doing it, plus the herbs. Okay, if you want steps, please reach out to me, raw underscore Merby on Instagram. I'll do my best to help you. Do you eat breakfast? I do. My breakfast though is not, it would be up 11 to 12 p.m., so it would be lunch. I don't eat breakfast early because the body is cleansing. You don't want to be putting heavy food into the body. In fact, you don't want to put any food into the body until after 11 or 12, preferably 1 o'clock is better. Okay, you want the body to continue cleaning up. It takes a long time to clean the body. And when you interrupt the cleansing process with a meal, you are disrupting it and you are, the body is no longer healing or cleaning. It's now digesting. And digesting takes about 60 to 80% of the resources that would normally be used in healing the body or in cleaning the body. Okay, so breakfast is not the best thing. Even the word breakfast, the true word of it means breaking a fast. It's not meant to be eating heavy starches and proteins like eggs and meat and porridge or oats in the morning. That is deadly very deadly and bad for you and if you think you can get away with it for a long period of time you're mistaken okay so that's my personal opinion and advice on it i wouldn't advise my uh, my worst enemy, enemy to take a high protein high starchy diet in the morning it's really 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 bad for you okay uh well, thank you so much for the kind words i appreciate you all best way to build muscle on alkaline vegan diet and and oh sorry and which herbs so best way to build muscle on an alkaline vegan diet and which herbs much appreciated gratitude so if you're trying to build muscle mass the first step is make sure you're lifting really heavy weights okay i have some weights here. i was going to lift it up and show you but it's okay but you gotta train properly when i say training properly i mean you're going to lift um heavy weights and the key is not actually heavy but you need to train very intensely that means you take your sets to failure once you've done that i wouldn't do more than two sets and exercise i won't do more than one exercise per body part because you're trying to put on muscle mass right you want less is more here but intensity is the key, is key. once you've done that and you want muscle recovery it's crucial you recover the muscle you don't grow when you work out you grow after the fact and you can only grow when you recover. If, if you pay attention and you go to the gym, you see people look the same day after day after day. They grow a bit and they stay, stay there. And that's because they're not recovering. They're not using, and those who are, who are not growing, also maybe natural bodybuilders, they're not using the, the, um, um, the, the jabs, you know, to enhance performance. In that case, they always remain the same. That's because they don't understand the principles of recovery. To recover, you need to get rid of acids in your, in your system. When you lift weights, you are creating lactic acid and other metabolic waste. If you don't remove that waste, the body cannot heal. The muscle cannot repair itself. Okay, so your goal after working out is to use herbs that encourage muscle recovery or cleansing of the body. These are herbs for the kidneys. So in my website, we have something called kidney flush tincture or, or nettle seed. You take those. And then you want to take herbs for your lymphatic system because the lymphatic system is what removes the waste. If it's not working properly, you can't remove waste. You can't repair. You can't grow. So use lymphatic tea or lymphatic tincture. Okay, that's how you are dealing with the herbs. Now, of course, use the Fabulous Five because it covers everything. Now, diet-wise, alkaline vegan, cooked alkaline vegan. If it were me, I'll go breakfast, heavy, heavy, high fruit, banana, dates, okay, coconut flesh, fresh, not the processed ones, raw. I would do, do that because each banana is about 100 calories. Dates about 60 to 80 calories each. I'll take about 500 to 1,000 calories alone on high fruits. Lunchtime, I'll have a little bit big salad, okay? Uh, uh, if I don't have salad, I'll have more fruits. Dinner, cooked alkaline food. When I say alkaline, you know, obviously know what alkaline is. Don't, don't eat any starches. Don't eat any proteins. You don't want excess protein in your diet for a bodybuilder because the protein will damage your kidneys. The, the protein you need is in the veggies. Okay? You don't need extra ones. You don't need supplements. You don't need to go and buy supplements for your, for your muscles. It doesn't work that way. If you look at your, the bodybuilders, they all suffer in the end. They all have colon issues. They all have kidney issues and arthritis. I know because they come to me. So I'm not saying it out of um, just heresy. I'm saying it out from experience that it will damage you eventually. Okay? Look at all the top bodybuilders in the world. They always, uh, Ronnie Coleman, um, you, you name it. You just do the research. You see them, the way they look before and after, and the damage they have caused. You don't want to be in, in, in that line of, of um, thinking. Or okay. So that, I hope that helped you. I know it's a bit a bit longer, but you know I'm, I'm trying to be extensive. Um, my body aches all over. What can I do? If your body aches all all over. Pain in general is acidity, acidosis. They call it inflammation. I call it acidosis. Okay, you are literally inflamed inside. You are burning up inside. Okay, so what? How do you put out, out the flames? 
you gotta use the fruits and the veggies they're alkaline they're heat quenches they put off the flames you gotta work on your kidneys your kidneys are not filtering out waste so the acids are building up and burning you okay your lymphatic system is not working i don't even have to guess i can see it pain tells me that you're compromised lymphatically your kidneys are not working your adrenals are not working properly so you gotta address all those if it were me i'll go on a 20 to 30 day dark grip only diet and I'll, at the very least without i'll use fabulous five okay and the kidney tea if you did that for 30 days i'm telling you you see the difference the pain was reduced remarkably and if you're lucky enough probably go away okay it might take longer you might need longer because if you're systemic pain all over the body that means it's accumulated from years and years and years of acidity buildup and acids and the lymphatic system can take time to move okay so you want to make sure that you do that but please feel uh, reach out to me um uh, raw merby is uh, underscore raw underscore merby on instagram so i can send you a protocol or you can join me on facebook the raw merby how long do you have to do the foot cleanse you do it as long as you need to get better if you're trying to heal something you do it until the, the, it goes away if you're just trying to feel uh, just a cleanse try three weeks two two three weeks if you want yeah, dealing with something to fix do it until you fix it okay it can take weeks months if it's really really chronic maximum maximum a year year and a half i don't know but it's well worth it because if you don't do it um you're gonna be in severe pain later on right so you better pay the price now than the pay later because when you're paying later and you're in extreme pain it's terrible you, you, the motivation goes away okay um let's see what fruit do you think do you think that um diabetes can go away for good <laughs> well it depends on what type and also depends on how and the person um, but definitely I've, I've seen people do it okay so i can tell you that there's something that you know they call it they call it uh, this name i don't call it this name I, I see it differently i don't deal in um i don't look at disease or deal with diseases i look at getting the human body better when you get the human body in a state where it can heal itself then it, it's a different story but if you're going by diseases then you're in trouble because these require treatment and in my opinion treatment is not something i know nor do will i use um oh okay uh, what about oat milk don't when you're trying to detox when you're trying to cleanse the body you don't want to touch any cooked food okay now I'm, please I'm not, I'm not speaking of a lifestyle i'm speaking of a cleanse and if you are cleansing don't use oat milk don't use any kind of nut milk because it's cooked okay and also could be mucus forming oat oat milk is medicine if you do it correctly if you Prepare correctly, but the oatmeal you find in the store is it's not it's very bad for you. It has a lot of chemicals and it's processed and it's cooked. There's a right way of drinking the oat milk, and it's it's by infusing the oats into water. Okay, there are different formulas for it, but I wouldn't cook it. But there are far superior herbs to use than oats. Um, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Anything for the liver. If you're trying to fix the liver, you gotta fix the whole body. You see, people make make make, make this misunderstanding. You, just because you have a liver problem doesn't mean the whole body is the body is okay. No, no, the liver is the weakest point. The body is compromised. The, the liver reflects the fast first because the liver is the weak one. So you gotta fix the whole body. 100% fruit diet and use herbs for the entire body. Fabulous five kidney tea and then take uh, on my website we have something called Liver F T. Fantastic for you, Liver F. It has herbs like milk thistle, artichoke, dandelion root fantastic for your liver okay it, it, it's and then we also have something called a liver and pancreas formula of tincture use that as well and, and stay the path uh, let's see i know i missed something I, hello from houston hello i'm from i'm actually in toronto canada so um i don't see any see distance between us i see that people who are attracted to this the fruits and uh of a higher spirituality and therefore, there's no such thing as time and space. It's only a concept. So we all tend to be, uh, one, we are attracted to each other in a way that uh, excludes the, the space and time. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, bless you too. Thank you so much for your kind words. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for coming by. It means a lot to me. Um, I want to make sure, sorry, for, uh, apologize, but I'm trying to go down to make sure I didn't miss anybody's question. Okay. And if I did, um, planter... Um, facilitates you know i can't see the words and thankfully so because i don't deal in such things but if you have any kind of bone issues or any kind of tendon issues or any kind of um uh, uh, any kind of fiber issues it's all the same your parathyroid gland needs to be addressed the parathyroid is the gland that deals with calcium utilization when it's weak you cannot uh, make use of calcium that means your bone tissue and 
and uh, muscles will, will suffer. You get hernias, varicose veins, spider veins, you might get um, depression and uh, wrinkles. Um, all these are parathyroid gland weaknesses. So you need to address the whole body, 100% fruit diet, Fabulous 5, as I always mentioned to you, Fabulous 5, the kidney tea, and then use the parathyroid glandula and parathyroid herbs plus endocrine herbs to support the endocrine glands as you detox. But this, in fact, would be a kidney and lymphatic issue, so those need to be addressed with the herbs as well, okay? But the diet has to change. And I would also use green drinks um, now and then to, to supply extra mineral and vitamins that the body needs. Uh, okay, I think I covered... Uh, do you eat... I covered that, okay... I'm trying. If I missed your question, I'm now. I'm going down. Just, re, just ask it again, okay? Let me see what fruits. Fruits to use. I've covered already, but I'll cover it again. Best fruits are berries, including grapes, melons. Um, did you know that melon, melon, what's a melon is actually a berry? But anyways, all melons will do, and um, and the citrus fruits, okay? Uh, what about um, oat milk? I covered that. Any recommendation? I don't have adrenal crisis and end up trauma two times a year. Um, I don't know what your question is, okay, but please reach out to me. Um, you, your, your question was contact. Any recommendations so I don't have adrenal crisis? Yes, you got to fix your adrenal glands, okay? I covered this already, but I'll go over it again briefly. First, you change the diet. So the 100% fruit diet. Why? Because it moves the limb system. Because it's the most energetic um, electrical diet you can follow, okay? And you need to ch charge the body up for this. You don't need to use herbs for the entire body because your adrenals are weak. It doesn't mean that the whole body is not compromised. The whole body is compromised. Your adrenals are the weak link. So the herbs for the entire body, the Fabulous 5, kidney tea, and take extra herbs for your adrenals, okay? And our site is called Adrenal Restorative Tincture and Glands A Tincture. You use that and you use lots of it and you stay the path. It'll take you a bit of time because the adrenals, when they're beating up like this, um, it can take a little bit of time to recover, a few months. Okay, if you're lucky, you have strong genes, probably weeks, but I'm just telling you how it goes. And if possible, I would even use an adrenal glandula to spark the gland up for you, okay? For temporarily spark the gland, whilst you use the herbs and the fruits to support it, okay? It's not difficult. It just requires work. That's it. And, and persistent. persistence. I'm told bananas are, are dampening and cool energy. I experience ill effects. Well, this is Chinese medicine you're talking about, okay? Now, my experience, okay, my, I've studied Chinese medicine as well. I'm a herbalist, so I've studied Chinese medicine um, and the herbs for China, Chinese medicine. And whilst their methods are fantastic, just like uh, Ayurvedic medicine is fantastic, um, all the modalities offer some benefits. But it doesn't mean that what they say is entirely 100% true. Although, personally speaking, I would go use their methods before I use any kind of uh, modern methods, okay? But um, fruits, in my opinion, in every case, even people in Alaska, will get better on a fruit diet. You just have to find the fruits that you can relate to. And bananas are not a fruit to be used when you're cleansing because even though it's a fantastic fruit in terms of nutrition, it doesn't hold astringency. It doesn't clean your limb system or move it effectively enough. So I don't use bananas in, in my cleanses. Okay, I use them after the fact. They're fantastic for you. Like I said, high nutrition. But if you're trying to cleanse something, I wouldn't be using bananas. I'll be using the astringent fruits, the, the grapes, the berries, melons, and the citrus fruits, okay? But however, if you, you want to talk to me, reach out to me on uh, Instagram, please, and I'll do my best to get back to you on Facebook. The name is Raw Maraby, R-A-W-M-A-R-A-B-Y, the same as you see right here, okay? Um, uh, I covered addiction already. How can I quit smoking? Um, I covered already, and I, I went really extensive. I'm going to post this video on YouTube, okay? So if you missed the addiction question, please... And if maybe in an hour, I'll, I'll post it on YouTube. Follow me on YouTube and watch the whole video, okay? This live here, I'll upload it, okay? So you can watch it, okay? But if, if for any reason, please write to me on Ron Mary Facebook. I will answer you, okay? I'm always tired even though I eat an alkaline vegan diet. Yes, because your adrenals are beaten. And if you eat an alkaline vegan diet, I'm sorry to tell you, but an alkaline vegan diet, even though it's better than an animal product diet, is still... It's still not good enough to heal the human body because it's cooked, okay? It's cooked. Cooked food has low energy. They, they did a study and every food you eat is something called angstrom of energy. The highest, highest food you can eat of energy is the fruits. It's about 9,000 to 10,000 angstrom of energy. Vegetables, about four to 5,000. Cooked food is about 500 to 1,000. Do you know how much energy the body requires? Angstrom of energy, 6,500 units. So imagine you're eating cooked foods, you're taking a thousand, the body needs six. That's a deficit of 5,000. 
okay? With the fruits, you're eating, you're getting 9,000 to 10,000 units, if not more, some of them are more, and you only require six. What does that tell you? You are energizing the body. You are putting electric energy in the body. Electric, we are electric beings. We operate with electricity inside us. Every cell requires electric, okay? When you're not putting electric in the body, the body is expending more energy than it's receiving. You will get a health issue. It's a matter of time. A matter of time, okay? So you got to stop the alkaline cooked vegan and go on herbs and fruit diet and use the herbs and thrive and do well and see the benefits, see the difference. Do I sell this product? The products you can find on my link. Yes, I do. As a herbalist, I have these herbs. I, it's my passion is my life. I've studied it hard enough. Um, my, my herbs are superior. I, I have confidence in saying that because they're two to one ratio, very strong. Okay, and they're made of love and care and intensity. And love is essential in the whole process. When you're trying to get better, you need love. When you're trying to get better, you need positivity. When you're trying to get better, you need support. All this matter. Mental. Um, when taking Fab 5 and kidney tea, do you need to fast while taking them? You can fast, but that's not a, that, that wouldn't be a dry fast. That would be a wet dry fast. Absolutely, you could do it. Or a wet, fa wet fast, which is water fast. It's superior, okay? Yes, you can do. Uh... I've done the watermelon detox and I work out. I've had pain and stiffness on day three. Soreness gone. You see? You see what? I want to repeat that again. When I speak about the fruits, I'm doing it from the bottom of my heart. I'm trying to reach just one person, to change one person, to get them to, to see the benefits of the healing so that they can heal themselves and they can help another. Okay? But I want to read out to you again on what someone just said to me. Okay? I wish I could pronounce it. 2P two, two Brooks says, I've done the watermelon detox and I work out. I had pain and stiffness. On day three, the soreness is gone. Okay? I had the exact same experience. Um, I lift weights. Um, uh, I used to lift quite a bit of weights. I'm a pretty big guy. I used to be like 265 pounds. I used to be on a high, high, high protein diet. I used to take two grams per pound of protein, animal products. Every meal I had, I had chicken or I had some kind of steak. My body, I grew big and, and strong, but my I was heavy. My heart was heavy. Um, the joint pains were astronomical. I had severe joint pains. When I went raw vegan, raw vegan, not, not even with the fruits, in a matter of three weeks, all the pain went away. All the pain went away. And that's what convinced me that even though I was a meat eater and I loved the animal products, in other words, I loved the food, I, I said to myself, never again. That was like almost nine years ago. I never touched meat again. Because I saw the effects. I don't crave it. I don't care for it. I feel sorry for, to see people eat it because I know the effects it has on the body. I'm not here to insult anybody's viewpoint on meat. I'm just here to express my viewpoint of what it did to me and what I can do for you. That's it. That avoid eating those mucus-forming foods. Okay? Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Okay? Where am I from? I'm from originally from Ghana, West Africa. I'm mixed, though. I'm half uh, Ghanaian, half Lebanese. Okay, actually some Scottish in there and Turkish as well. So I'm a mixed mix bowl of fruit. <laughs> so I'm mixed up, I'm mixed, which is, I, I'm thankful and I'm blessed because I can see all the cultures and all the races all in one and um, how there's beauty and un unity in, in everybody, okay? No matter your race, no matter where you're from, there's beauty in you. Okay, so let me see. Um, yes, the teas and tinctures work, absolutely. Thank you again for sharing. So the... Um, the questions are brilliant. Oh, my God. I, I'm so taken back. I, I don't think I can answer all these, though. But, okay, let me make a call again. Any question you might have, any question, okay, right now, please, because if I miss your question, and I'm probably end end soon, ask your question on Raw Meraby, okay? And on Facebook, it's just Raw Meraby. I have a page. I have a group. I have um, um, I have two groups and a page. You'll find one of them. So you can come to one. Ask the question there. You can find me on Messenger, okay? If you go on Facebook, my name is Ram, Murab Ramirabi. You'll find me there. You can ask. I care. I want to help you. I will get your questions. It's, it might be a few days because I have hundreds of questions coming to me on a daily basis. And because I answer them personally, it takes time. Okay? So uh, if you, you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Please follow, follow me here. Okay? It's very important you do so that you can get um, contact and you can follow. I also have a Telegram group and a Telegram chat. You know, most of you know what Telegram is. The chat on Telegram is awesome because, you know, it's one-on-one. -on -one. So reach me on all those avenues, please. And um, I'm grateful for you being here. I really am. And I wish I could answer all your questions. I'm just one person and um, the time has run out. But let me take one more question and see uh, a few questions and see what, what I can do. 
Oh, so I said I stopped eating meat ten years, ten years from now. Uh, ten years ago. Good, excellent. Um, any suggestions for limes? Limes is, um, uh, in fact, they were not too sure but long ago. They were calling it a bacteria. Now they call it a viral. It doesn't matter what it is. The reason why it's there is because your body, your immune system is compromised and your lymphatic system is compromised. It attracts these uh, pathogens. You have to understand something very clearly. We have been trained to see bacteria, fungus, and virals in a different light. When these things are not there to come and harm you, they are there because of nature. So nature has a rule. Nothing is wasted. Everything is recycled. No energy, energy is neither created nor destroyed. Energy is recycled. You have bacteria to break down protein that cannot be broken down by your body. You have fungus to break down sugars that cannot be breaking down by the human body, okay? Maybe it's too complex for you and your body is not working properly. It sits there. The fungus comes to break it down. They're, they are doing you a favor, okay? Because if they didn't do that, it'd be poison. It'd be, it, would be, it can harm you. And the virals are there to target, okay? They target weak cells. It, it's a way of the body trying to get rid of a weak cell. So if you don't want those things to be there, you have to get the, the lymphatic system working properly so that you don't attract these things. You got to get your, your, your adrenals working properly because they deal with sugar metabolism. You got to your, get your liver working properly and your pancreas working properly. You got to get your kidneys working properly. You, you see where I'm going with this, okay? So when you name it, when you give it a name like that, you're, you have set your, your, your limits narrow. But when you understand the human body wants to self-heal, but it can self-heal because you're not allowing it because you're eating the wrong foods. And that maybe if you give it the right foods and the right herbs, and give it time, you can get out of this situation, okay? It's not, it's not a, a miracle. It's, it's common sense. It's common sense. That's what it is. And your job, your only job, because the body is a self-healer, not, not, the, not the herbs, not the, uh, the, the, the food, the, the fruits. The, the healer is the body. But it cannot do its work when it's compromised, when it's blocked, when it's obstructed in energy flow. Remember, there are three energy flows. Blood flow, lymph flow, nerve flow. If any of those are compromised, you have a health issue. Blood flow to feed the cells. Nerve flow to communicate between the cells. And, um, sorry, and lymph flow to remove the waste from the cells. Any of these three are blocked, you have a health issue. So any problem you have right now is one of these three or a multiple of them are blocked or not working properly. Okay? That's how simple it is. So I wrote these books to educate you and teach you. This one here is called the Lemon on the Little Cleanse. Also called How to Lose Weight Even When You Think You Can't. And this one is called How to Kill Yourself Even When They Say You Can't. These are on Amazon. Okay? They are inexpensive. But when you read this stuff, okay, and you put it in your head, this is priceless. And it will never leave you. I mean, you can go and buy a Starbucks coffee, five, six dollars. And you can buy five, uh, f three Starbucks coffees and it's be wasted. And you, you can buy this and the information in your head forever, okay? And I, it's only priced that way because Amazon sells it for me and they keep the majority of the of the sales and there's nothing for me left over, but I don't care. It's not the money is important. The importance is that you get it in your hands and read it, that's it. And then you have the knowledge to help yourself and then to help another person, okay? That's what I, I do this for. I do this only because um, it's for help another person because this this, what you're seeing right here is very tough. It's very tough to do. The things you see, the things you go through, my hours are 12 hours long, all on social media. Imagine my eyes, how it burns. And I don't care because at the end of the day, one person I help, one, I've done my job, okay? So thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you so much. Um, it means a lot to me. Please don't forget to follow. Don't forget to um, uh, comment. Don't forget to reach me on Facebook and ask me your questions and I'll do my best to help you, okay? I'm honored that you are here. I'm honored that you're taking the time to watch this. And um, I appreciate you. Thank you again so much and bless you and um, keep your, your detox simple. Fruits and herbs all the way.